Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing what is called a essential oil, fragrance oil, nebulizer. Um, basically, nebulizer is the distinguishing factor between this and your traditional, um, what would be called a diffuser, I guess. If you buy stuff on Amazon, you probably know about essential oil diffusers. You take the cap off, you put the water in, you put some drops of essential oil in it, and then that you know smokes out the top, and then or the aroma goes out the top. You can see the mist, and it goes up and makes the makes part of your house smell good, right? See this right here? That's what this is, but better. I'm gonna run you through why it's better, and I'm gonna show you uh, what to put in it, how to work it, everything like that. Um, this is a about a hundred and fifty dollar unit. Um, you can get them low as maybe like 120 for like the lower capacity ones. Um, but I would get the 300 mil, 300 milliliter one. I'll link this one down below that I found. Now there are companies like, uh, I think it's Aroma Retail and there's like other like hotel, whatever, like the fancy these or whatever. They're just basically rebranded. They're all made in China from what I can tell. Um, but they're charging like six or $700 for their machines. Whereas you can get on AliExpress or even on Amazon, as I found, and get a really good price. AliExpress is maybe like 20 bucks cheaper than the cheapest one I found on Amazon that's of good quality. This is the one I ended up buying after scrutinizing and looking around. Um, I'll link this one down below as well as the, um, the oil that I found. I did a little digging to find that uh, to put in this thing. So this is different from your traditional uh, $40, $30 diffuser. Um, it's nebulizing, basically. It's blowing air through the oil. It's like wicking it up into a chamber and blowing air through it. You still get kind of like that vapor coming out, um, but it's not as uh, much as the vapor from a traditional, like the $34 one, but it fills a room with more smell. Like it, fi like this whole top floor is probably 1,500 square feet, not counting the rooms, um, maybe 2,000 square feet counting the rooms. Um, it fills up the whole thing. So when I walk in the door uh, from outside, I walk in the front door, I smell it. If I am in my bedroom and I got the door closed, I don't smell it. But if I walk out, open the door, I smell it. If I'm downstairs, I don't smell it. If I walk up, I immediately smell it. As soon as I walk into this huge room, I smell it. And you can hear how quiet it is, right? It's really, really quiet. Uh, with your traditional oil diffusers, um, it's um, a little bit louder. Also, there is the issue of like mold. If you're not constantly cleaning that thing out, um, you're gonna get mold in it. I'm sure if you've ever looked in yours, you might have seen mold from just water just sitting and stagnating. Um, so that's not a great thing to have. Also me, I'm a big fatso, so I've always been a little self-conscious about smells. I always wanna make sure my house smells good. I wanna make sure I smell good. Um, and so the, the essential oil diffuser, the $30, $40 ones are really cool. But you have to, they last like two, three, four hours and then they're done. And you have to refill it and refill it. Remember like if you got company coming over, remember to fill it and let it go. This is miles different from that. This is way better. This thing will last probably a month or two on just a bottle, depending on how often you're making it um, disperse. See, mine's dispersing really often. I changed it to... 60 seconds off and 25 seconds or 30 seconds on. So it's a lot. The, the default setting is 120 seconds off, 10 seconds on. And it's not gonna stay like this. I'm gonna move it down to um, 80 and 20 um, because I, all I'm doing right now is I've just been, for the past week, you'll see these clips um, here in a minute of me filling the oil bottle and stuff like that. I didn't fill it all the way, but I filled it a little bit, you can kind of see. But it's been a week since I've done that and it's been on nonstop, blowing every 60 seconds and it still has, and it still has this much oil left in it. And I only filled it to maybe like the, the 200 milliliter mark right there. So I mean, this thing, this stuff is, it lasts. That's the really cool thing about this machine is you set it and forget it and you don't have to keep constantly refilling it. So you buy a, you know, I think the bottle of oil is 30 bucks or something like that. So you buy the machine, I'll link it down below. Um, you buy the oil. Now, if you're looking at oils for fra fragrance oils, right? You wanna use a fragrance oil. Um, I did a lot of digging around. There weren't very many clear answers on this, but I tried different oils. I have a bunch of beard oil, which is basically like 
um, argan oil and jojoba oil and stuff like that that are mixed then with fragrance oil. So they have a base carrier oil and a little bit of fragrance oil. And I really couldn't smell that. Um, but the pure fragrance oils that you can get um, from Amazon or if you go to a like a whole not a Whole Foods, but like a natural grocers or whatever, the places that will have those aisles of essential oils and fragrance oils, you could use those. Now, when it comes to oils for these, a very, very popular one I didn't really know much about, but a lot of people were uh, raving about it was this one. It's apparently the smell at the Westin hotels. It's a white peach scent of some sort. It doesn't smell like white peach to me. It smells like amazing for sure, but it doesn't smell like white peach. It smells like royalty i don't know it smells like what you would think when you walk into like a gucci store or something like the really really nice fancy smelling smell i guess um and the bottles of it that some of the people will sell to you are like 70 dollars for <laughs> a bottle of uh fragrance oil which is crazy 70 dollars because even though that would last a month 70 dollars seems like a little bit much of an investment for a smell and what if you don't like it <laughs> you know what if you don't like the smell then you're out 70 bucks. Um, but this one I found was like 35 or 40, 45 dollars maybe tops. And it was a bigger container than the ones that I was seeing. So this one is White Tea West from Aroma Country. And they have a bunch of different other um, smells. I'm gonna be buying some more, some other uh, ones of these. This is 8.5 ounces, but I, I did the math. This bottle has like a third more than the other ones that cost like twice as much. And it took a lot of digging around to find this. Um, and it smells freaking amazing. It smells like, and I get why people are wanting that white peach, white tea, whatever Weston smell that this is uh, emulating. So when you're shopping for these things, again, I'm gonna put the link down below for this one and the oil that I got. Um, the main differences that I found were capacity sizes of the bottle. So um, this one is a 300 milliliter right here. So this is what I would recommend is get a 300 milliliter. It could maybe cost you 20 bucks more to get the unit with the bigger capacity bottle, right? Um, but you get the extra capacity, meaning this is gonna run a lot longer. And um, the other main difference is going to be the apps that control them. There's two apps apparently that a lot of these are companies are using. One of them is bad, one of them is good. The one I got is good. Now this app is called Aroma Link. There's another one called Aroma, I forget the other name of it, but you wanna steer clear of that app. Apparently there's a ton of bad reviews about it. The Aroma Link worked great for me. Um, I had to sign in and make an account um, in order to make the changes easy. Um, but I just signed in with some bogus uh, credentials and then um, put in a throwaway email and then verify the email, I think. And then you literally just connect via Bluetooth and you go in and you change whatever. I, what, so for instance, you go, you connect via Bluetooth, you select your device, the smart A5 Wi-Fi is mine. It connects to it and then you just hit the set button and you uh, you go in, you hit set, and then you can go and just click all the day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, click all those, and then you can change the duration, basically. So there's an end time, there's a work time. So the work time is how long it's gonna be spraying um, nebulizing oil for. And as you can see, mine's at 60 seconds off and 30 seconds on right now. Now that's only just to basically run this thing to a torture test and to see how much this thing is actually gonna use if I can crank it to that much usage and still get a reasonable length of use out of it, I guess. Um, and it's been phenomenal. Like I said, I filled that up about a week ago, maybe like five days ago, and it's still barely put a dent in that bottle of oil. And it's made this whole thing smell for five, six days by the now. So I could see this easily lasting a month at this high setting. I bet if I filled it the 300 mil all the way up, it would probably last two months. And there's just about enough fluid in here to fill up that 300 mil container. So you could get two months use out of this, probably maybe even more depending on how light or heavy you want the smell um, in your room, wherever you want, or your house. So if you can get two to three months use out of this, which is probably pretty easy, then, you know, 15, 10, 15, 20 bucks a month for a really good smelling house is totally worth it in my opinion. Now, that's just my take on this and um, I didn't know these things existed. I have a friend that has a retail business and he had one and it was with Aroma Retail and I was looking around because it was like a five, $600 unit that he had. And I was looking around and I was like, okay, there's all these other units that are just like from AliExpress, same brand, same design, same 
pretty much everything, right? So I figured that it's just the same case as you have with pretty much everything in the world. It's all made in China and then different brands will slap their logo on it and charge you whatever amount of in, uh, surplus they want to charge you for that for that item. So I wouldn't buy the one from like Aroma Retail or the expensive, expensive ones. I would buy one of these off Amazon for 150 bucks. Um, so far this thing is kicking. I'll do an update on this in like maybe six months and give you guys an update just to see. But again, that's just my thoughts on it. I think this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful addition to any kind of home, um, especially if you care about smell. The oil diffusers, the traditional ones where you drop the water in, you put the oil in, it smokes at the top. They're cool, um, but developing mold and then blowing mold throughout your house is probably not the best thing. And then the inconvenience of having to constantly refill and constantly refill, it sucks. This solves those problems in one unit. It's amazing. So that's just my thoughts. I thought this thing was so cool that I had to do a video on it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, you can subscribe if you want to subscribe. I just review random stuff on here. Hit the like button if it helped you out. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments down below. I'll try to help you out. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.